issue of religion in a public school has made its way onto the football field of a Milwaukee suburb. As our Chip Brewster shows us, the combined logos of the two area schools have led some parents and students to protest. It's new at 9. The logo that, that we wear as our football sticker on our helmet will be changed. The football co-op team of Shoreward Public High School and Mesmer Catholic High School debuted a new logo this season. Like the team, it blended the two school mascots, a greyhound and a bishop. However, the prominence of the Christian cross prompted a parent and some students to complain, leading to the logo being replaced with this. The somewhat simple design lacks the identity of either school, but its message is clear. Sure, we lost a little bit of uh, personality, but it's, if anything, it's about this season now, not about uh, anything that we've had done. It's this season, going to the playoffs, and that's what we're focused on. Mesmer's administration was surprised the cross became such an issue. When a new permanent logo is designed, they're hoping their views will still be represented. Personally, I would like to see God in some way in that logo. At the end of the day, are you going to be able to figure out a way to do it without someone objecting or being offended? Probably not. The now old logo was designed by a student and approved by both school administrations. Its replacement is only temporary with the goal of repeating the original process. We're going to get the Mesmer kids with the Shorewood kids and it's going to be a teachable moment and we're going to try to put something together again. With the logo issue behind them, at least for now, the focus falls on Friday night. It's going to be a tough contest. They have some really nice players. We're looking forward to it. And we're also looking forward to celebrating the, the many successes that this program has had this year. The beauty of what we've done and what we continue to move forward is what I will focus on. In Shorewood, Chip Brewster, Fox 6 News. Now the new logos will not be delivered until Friday, so teams will continue to play and practice with the controversial logos until then. The woman accused of selling fake Facebook stocks will spend seven years in prison. Marianne Olson made a plea deal today and most of the charges were dropped. Prosecutors originally charged her with 50 counts related to the sales. Police say she scammed several people out of thousands of dollars. The death of Whitewater students.